This is Twit. AR VR. So why am I excited about this, Mary Jo? Why? <laughs> okay. So there have been a lot of stories in various news outlets over the past week or two that touch indirectly and directly on what Microsoft has done and is doing in AR and VR. So I don't know if you saw the Wall Street Journal story this week. I think it was this week. Around 100 Microsoft HoloLens folks have gone and joined Meta. Um, then there was a story the week before from the, from the information. Meta has canceled its big um, extended reality operating system. So it was trying to do kind of what Microsoft did years ago with Midori, build an OS from scratch for AR and XR. Um, by the way, Meta disputed that story and said it was wrong. In fact, it was our old friend Gabe All who used to work at Microsoft. Yeah, that's right, because he works. He went to Facebook, <laughs> that bastard. He did. Went to Facebook, started working on the it. Oculus, right? And um, then he was the one who gave the quote to various news outlets saying, yeah, that story's not completely right. That whole thing about us canceling the operating system. We're still doing that, by the way. That's what, that's what Gabe said. They also Gabe, poached Gabe, people from Apple, by the way, didn't guy. they? Yeah, Meta? yeah. So, um, who else? Yeah, Meta's poached a bunch of people, right? And then... Yeah, what uh, price your soul that you have to go to Meta? <laughs> well, then, um, what's his name? Mark Lukowski was working Which at is. Facebook, right, on this yeah. project also. So, Mark Lukowski, for people who don't know, he was on the original Windows team way, way back when. Um, right. And now he's joined Google to work on their augmented reality, mixed reality project because he, he said publicly, I can't stomach Meta. I don't like anything they're doing publicly and I'm out. I'm done, right? That and then today, like <laughs> yeah, today, Magic Leap. Magic Leap, who is headed by Peggy Johnson, who used to work they're, at Microsoft. They're still around. <laughs> they're yeah. still yep. around, and they're doing what Microsoft did. They're saying, we're going to refocus our headset on the enterprise. Surprise, yeah. Surprise, oh, surprise. Yeah. It's not on <laughs> education or games. Right, yeah. enterprise. Yeah. Yep. Well, so... The reason I started looking into all of this and started getting more interested was my old friend and Paul's old friend, Don Box, he left yep. Microsoft last year and wouldn't say where he was going. And then we found out he went to Meta when it was still called Facebook, right? But he didn't say what he was working on. So I kept watching his LinkedIn profile. I'm like, he's going to post this at some point, right? So finally he posts, I'm working on the XR operating system at Meta, which is... so. There Not anymore. You fall, you, are you friends with him on uh, Facebook? Don yes. Box? So you must have seen his 117 posts about MacBook Pro. and I did. You know, blah, 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 whatever. How much yeah. he um, loves it? Yeah. yeah, he does love it. Yeah. Don Box is a genius. Well. I just, I just I straight <laughs> well, up is a genius. There you go. No, he, he, he is a genius. He is, not everyone's perfect. Let's just say that. No, 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 no. Well, no, no. But look, I, when, when, you're, when, you, when you are, no, you now people, have to suspect some of his. Uh, no, that's like saying you know, Larry Bird and Magic John or um, uh, Michael Jordan were terrible human beings. Yeah, of course they were. They were too good at this other thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh, I get. You, you have to. Yeah. It has to give and take. You know. So I, yeah, he works for Meta, but. Yeah. No, but he's a great guy, and but he didn't is, Meta like I kill said, this uh, VR operating so, system? No, so no, so supposedly we don't no, no, <laughs> right. Because that we was the know. news of we, last week. That was what the information reported. Right. Yeah. Saying so they, I didn't know, they had uh, I didn't know 300 engineers uh, off the job. This is an incredible well, we number of ex Microsoft employees. <laughs> yeah. It is. And okay, pretty so notable ex Microsoft employees, too, by the way. Right. There's many reasons why this is happening, right? Okay. So, first, the official reason is right now, if you know about augmented reality, extended reality, the metaverse, any of that stuff, you can command a huge salary, right? So if you're right. Don Box, you're Gabe All, you're already super rich. You've been working at Microsoft forever, right? Like you have multiple cars, multiple MacBooks, whatever you like, whatever your <laughs> poison is, right? Okay. <laughs> but <laughs> then Meta comes along. Then Meta comes along and they're like, hey, want to double, triple your salary? Come work with us on this extended reality OS thing. It's going to be fun. It's going to be cool. Sure. Okay. Right? So it's about money. It's also about your <sighs> colleagues. So... Gabe All's over there. Don Box is over there. Then I started looking on LinkedIn. Who else from Microsoft is over there? And I was finding so many people, right? Like, here's mm -hmm. one guy, Carlos Perez Nefarte, who was the lead software manager on the Duo, 
he's there. John oh. Elliott, principal software architect on the Surface Duo until June when he joined the same team that Doc's, Don Box is on. Matt Beaver, 11-year Microsoft veteran, was working on the Microsoft Bluetooth core stack, now joining the XROS team at Meta. So they're all pulling in all their friends and the people they know how to build an operating system, right? And they're like, come work with us over here. You know, this is, this. This is a troubling new era. <laughs> in, in, not for a long time, uh, the, the majority of high-profile Microsoft evacuees ended up at Amazon, right? right. That was something yep. that went on for over a decade. This yeah. is, but these are, this is an incredible group of people. It is. It does yeah, kind of explain why Apple just started giving its engineering team $180,000 yes. bonuses yep. not exactly. to go to Meta. That's right. Clearly Meta's right. staffing up. They are. And that's, that's why I'm a little bit suspicious on that information story. The information does great work and they have great sources, but I'm like, right. you know what? The way Gabe all answered that makes me think they may have killed some part of the project, but the project is going on. Or maybe right? <laughs> it was disinformation. It could be. <laughs> they should right? call Pardon it the, the disinformation now. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Whoa. <laughs> now what, I mean, usually if you parse the way people answer these kind of stories when they're denying them, you look yeah. and it's like, we're not completely denying it, right? But we're denying the, that it's the, as severe. The non, there's the non-denial denial. denial Exactly. Yeah, there's, yeah, and <laughs> well, you're good at this. This is your. This um, is your. Microsoft skill. hasn't killed Windows 10X, right. according to the official company right. line. Right. 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 Okay. Here's another reason all these Microsoft people are going to Facebook. The part of Facebook hmm. Meta that's working on this operating system that they're building from scratch, if it still is a project, is called Facebook Reality Labs Research. You know where one of their main outposts is? Redmond, Washington. <laughs> I was going to say it has Redmond, to be Redmond. Washington. <laughs> Right, right. So, okay, you're working at Microsoft. You're like, yeah, I like my job. I'm kind of bored. So, Who else is in Redmond? Oh, these guys. <laughs> this is, all right, so uh, tech companies have always done this kind of thing. Uh, Microsoft right. has yeah. always had offices in yeah. Silicon Valley, which a lot of people probably don't know about. Yeah. Uh, Google has opened offices in the Seattle, Redmond area. Um, yeah. Well, Nintendo's been there forever. But, um, you know, this is, you go, you know, you, you can't always get people to move, <laughs> right? I guess right. these days, but you know, it's probably right. harder than ever. Um, right. So you go to where they are clustered yeah, already, exactly. and they're clustered in exactly. Redmond. Yep. Which is, uh, you yeah. know, and that's why Amazon was such an easy target for those folks, because it's right across the lake from Redmond. Yeah. yeah, and if you're, so, okay, think about it. If you're Don Box, who his last job at Microsoft was working on mixed reality, he worked with Alex Kipman there and was yeah. doing a lot of things around what how they were building out the HoloLens and the mixed reality platform. If you're somebody who's, like him or a lot of these other people who I just mentioned. And Microsoft's focus right now is all about the enterprise and about the army and getting the HoloLens in those markets. But you care about consumer stuff. Where are you going right. to go? You're going to go to Meta, right? <laughs> That's where you're going to go. <laughs> this is very troubling. Now, he, this is for sure. Like that 100-person story from the journal, I, I have no doubts on that story. I would bet it's more than 100 people have gone from Microsoft to Meta. I would this is a real gut check more. moment for people because my, my reaction to it, like Facebook comes to me for no reason I can imagine, but says, hey, we'd like to hire you for whatever reason. I'm like, yeah, there's no way I'm working yeah. at Facebook, Meta, whatever. And they're like, yeah, but we're going to give you like $2 million. Right. I'd be like, oh, okay. So what day do you want me to start? <laughs> you exactly. know, like, I mean, <laughs> at, at some point it, it's like foolish <laughs> not to do this. Right. So here's here's the sentence Gabe all gave out as their sentence. So you you read into this what you want. There are several several technical directions we are pursuing in our efforts to build reality lab operating systems, plural. Mm -hmm. We are still working on a highly specialized OS for our devices. That's what the all these people are working on, right? Whatever you right. want to call it, that's what they're working on. <laughs> Just to be so, clear, yeah. Don Don Box is com. He is yeah. .net. This right. guy used to stand Xbox. on stage at PDC and write code in real time with yeah. Anders Heilsberg, uh, Don, yeah. Chris Anderson, Chris Sells mm -hmm. probably. I mean, yep. this is, um, he's one right. of the no, smartest people moved, that's ever, ever gone Then he moved Microsoft. to work on Xbox. I think he was working with Cutler probably on probably the operating on the containerized system operating Xbox, system right. stuff. Yep, of course. Yep. Right. So now well, Mark Lukowski is, he's the guy, <laughs> yeah. Dave Cutler would have said, is the only person on the original NT team who actually understood all of the construction yep. of NT, including the kernel. Even yep. Dave Cutler didn't claim to understand that. Yeah. But that's how smart that guy was. And I, it's, geez, yeah. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. 
So they're all at Meta now. And so far since the information story came out saying, you know, that project's canceled, I've been watching LinkedIn to see if anybody else is quitting. Nobody else has quit so far, that, or at least hasn't posted that they quit. So that makes me think wow. that we're still working on something, right? <laughs> yeah. Who's left at Microsoft uh, <laughs> in this field, you know? <laughs> The original, yeah, the original Windows team and the original Com and .NET uh, yeah. team. I mean, Andrew still stuff, works I mean, at Microsoft. Andrew yeah, still, still works still at Microsoft, Microsoft, right? They, and, and you know, a guys like Scott uh, Guthrie is still there. That guy, Rusinovich, still. It was a key right? player all, in .NET. All these guys. Um, are so there. just when when yeah. the last person leaves, just turn out the lights and uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, well, my, point well just, is, <laughs> my point is, my point is that okay, a lot of people have defected, and some may come back, some may not come back. Um, some may go on to other companies, Apple, Google, whoever is next and building some OS right. for the metaverse. But you know what? This happens a lot. Like people get dissatisfied. They move on. Sometimes they come back. Remember when everybody started coming back to Microsoft to quit when Nadella yeah, became sure. the CEO? Tons of people came right. back. So, yeah, let's let's see what happens. I don't think it's like anything dire. I like think these guys, the Windows I think or, they get bored. <laughs> I, they, they're so far they into bored. their career. They've yeah. had so many successes. Yeah. The stuff they yep. care about the most is not the exactly. big thing at Microsoft today. Right. Yeah. I think we can all relate to that. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. Everybody, right? I mean, who doesn't get bored, right? Like people want to expand their horizons. You see the, um, uh, the Ben Slivka thing where he said he suggested that yeah. Microsoft should spin off Windows and Office um, because they're just a cloud company now. And, and that's super provocative. Uh, it's yeah. ridiculous. It is. But there is a part of me as, as kind of an enthusiast of that part of the company that I do feel gets uh, not a lot of attention these days. Yeah. Thinking yeah. to myself, eh, yeah, maybe. I mean, yeah. I, I would like, Microsoft used to be the company that only cared about Windows. Right. Now Microsoft so appears you know, to be the company that only cares about everything but Windows. 